What's up guys, this is RG giving you another high definition broadcast. As you can see we're back on Unison League and we will be doing the Bishop class breakdown and guide. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, today we're actually starting on weapons because it's very important to have specific weapons for the cleric. Um, I would suggest having all heart uh, of health XL as well as the heart of the cleric XL that you get from the league battles uh, for the ranked. Um, as always, those um, league weapons that cost 50 of the uh, medals are actually going to be your best weapons throughout. So um, you definitely want to get uh, as many Heart of Health XLs as you have as you can. Uh, I actually have three of them at the moment, uh, and I, I have a, a single target heal uh, uh, book. Um, I would suggest having five UR books, excuse me, um, but. You know, um, if you don't have five UR books, you could use a staff. But honestly, I, I would suggest uh, min if for min maxing, I would say you have to have about five books. Um, I I'd say a good uh, a good rule is if you can have uh, five heart of XLs or four X uh, heart of, heart of health XLs, and then the heart of cleric, that would be the best. Um, but if you don't have access to that, get as many of these as you possibly can, and then mix it up between area heal and uh, single target heal um, for books, okay? Um, now, that being said, uh, let me go ahead and get into the skills so that um, we can get that uh, done with as well. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you my abilities at this moment. Um, I think this is like the base abilities that um, most people will have as a cleric is will they have cure when they'll have recover they'll have greater healing and they'll have cheer um, sometimes people take off cheer if you don't have um, enough defense so and they'll switch it with something like either guard uh, they they go into the soldier tree and they get heaven's breath sometimes and then uh, they also um, will get like defensive stance that's only if you uh, don't have any like uh, good defense. Um, a target defense you will want to go for, uh, defense and magic defense, is 35,000. I know that sounds like a lot, but um, honestly, you could even get to like 40k uh, if you have like the right gear. Um, but I would say 35k is a good uh, area to shoot for. Um, and like for a high level GVG, I would suggest cleric uh, have about 30k minimum on each of those stats uh, defense and magic defense otherwise you, you are liable to get targeted and you're pretty much going to be useless because you're just going to be healing yourself and uh, you, you will die unless your armors are uh, proccing like all the time so um, that being said uh, I would suggest a loadout similar to uh, the um, the loadout I, I'm showing you here and then you can put in cheer here um, something that uh, is also good, say if you have uh, those weapons that I was talking about, um, the Hearts of Health, uh, you can put in uh, two area heals or two single target heals. Uh, this is, um, you have to have Cure though. So Cure is one of those things that you're always going to have to have. It's, it's like the, the highest uh, healing per second heal that you're going to get um, as far as single target goes and you want to have greater healing at all, at all times so greater healing and cure are those things that you just can't go without uh, on the healer um, this restore uh, a recover rather um, you can switch that out if you have like uh, books that all, all proc like single target heals you can throw a heal on there uh, which is the level one um, heal and actually it's really good because it has that um, look at the timer on it it's only five seconds and if you have like all single target heal books it's gonna proc a lot so you don't have to worry about the small ability power on it um, if you have all books that are going towards area healing then you can put two area heals on here so greater here and area heal I would not um, recommend going for a uh, area cure unless you are a secondary healer like if you have two healers on the team then you can go ahead and pick up area cure or if you have a, a low amount of um, magic uh, damage because um, healing actually goes off of uh, magic damage and uh, magic defense so if you have a low amount of uh, magic damage uh, but a high amount of magic defense you know you could pick up area cure if you're a secondary healer but honestly I think that area heal would be kinda better just because it has it's 15 seconds and this one's 25 so it's almost double the uh, time allotment and uh, it's almost double the cost so you can 
pretty much area heal two different groups rather than just uh, area curing one group um, but it's up to you guys if you guys want to try it out you can try it out I've tried it out before it's to me it just takes too long to recover and one of your skills is down for a long time so it's, it's just honestly not worth it to me um, another option is you take off both of these uh, keep the um, chair here and then you can put the defensive skill in here like if you wanted to put the uh, heaven's breath here you could do that as well um, some people like to put guard or even barrier if you want to put a barrier in there to, to be honest barrier to me is not not the greatest just because it costs um, 20 and it's 30 seconds that uh, it, um, they cool down and it lasts 30 seconds on one target but if they just switch targets then you know it, that's pretty much game over for for that barrier you know what I mean you just wasted 20 cost right and 20 cost is a really big um, uh, dump for a skill so 15 is a little bit more worth it uh, in my, my eyes with Heaven's Breath but um, again like I would say like it's, uh, guard is really good because it's zero cost and it take, takes a lot of um, you know you, do, you don't cost anything to to get that defensive uh, up and uh, you can also put the um, the defensive stance up which actually uh, reduces the ability power of abilities uh, done to you I think by uh, 20 ability power uh, but you also deal less damage but it's okay because your healing is gonna proc off of your your books anyway so um, that yeah that's pretty much it for the skills um, and if I missed anything you guys can definitely put it in the comments below I always appreciate those comments uh, saying you know um, you know uh, different types of builds I always encourage that um, so like this is the, the basic loadout that I would probably go with is is cure recover and uh, greater healing with the cheer just because it's to me it's the most solid um, loadout that I've experienced as a healer um, so let's go ahead and get back into the gear uh, set because I told you guys you had to have around 35k um, defense and magic defense which is pretty optimal for um, the priest uh, or the bishop um, the reason being oh uh, also I forgot to tell you guys uh, real quick in the um, in the uh, abilities there uh, if you do actually get up to like 40k 35 40k you can actually switch one of these out and hit up uh, ether exchange which is actually uh, right here in the mage tree and um, the way you you would uh, kind of roll with this is you would uh, oh you would take this out first you, you want to you want a, an area heal so put that greater heal back in there and then you'd um, have two of your friends actually use ether exchange as well but they have to be in the same uh, area so like a um, in a row so that the area heal can actually uh, heal you so you'll be like in the middle and they'll them two will be on the sides of you they'll all you three will ether exchange then uh, you'll actually heal them uh, directly uh, with the greater healing and then you'll still have enough to cure um, after that so all you guys will be able to those two people will be able to attack and then the people uh, on your on your sides will actually be able to attack and the two people that use the exchange will be able to attack again so um, it kind of almost guarantees two people dying in the in the first round uh, on the other side and you guys most likely will win the first round so that's a really good strategy if you have a high defense. If you don't have a high defense and they see that you're a bishop, just use the ether exchange, then they're just gonna go straight for you and you'll probably die. Um, also, uh, if you don't run ether exchange with your fellow uh, teammates, um, it's also gonna be a problem because you're just gonna ether exchange and then um, they'll go straight for you and your friends will be able to DPS them down and take out the DPS that's coming to kill you. So, just a quick uh, tip that you guys want to know about ether exchange and how it works uh, with with pre, uh, bishops or priests all right so now actually let's get into the the gearing so if you do get actually for uh, 35 to 40k of defense and magic defense that is optimal for a bishop so um, honestly you could probably go with four books and go with uh, more armors but um, I, I would say I would still go with five five uh, weapon loadouts just in case you want to switch your class and then your monster loadouts should be mostly water element um, so in your gearing as far as helmet and um, and armors go you would probably go the same thing three um, magic re damage reflex and then three physical damage reflex um, 
and then you can split it up between helm and armor whichever if you have like say four helms right that are one is physical damage reflect helm one and three are magical da damage reflect helms and um over here sorry that's it this is that was armor this is helms so th that was say you have four there and then you have um the you know filling the rest of the gap with the uh, physical uh reflect and magic reflect so you know it, it, depending on what you get on your armors and helms you, that's where you want to allocate your points to but uh try not to over allocate as you you should have about 150 in your your uh, monster just to be able to have five um event monsters which are going to cost uh, 30 costs if you can have three abseris uh one nyx and one of the uh the new monster that's actually coming out in the next patch which is uh i forgot how to see her name but she's a holy monster which will have uh, stats similar to uh this guy right here um which is magic attack and defense uh, so in that case you would have a, a nyx which is magic attack and magic defense a uh another event monster which is a 30 cost which has uh, magic uh, magic attack and, and regular defense which is a physical defense and uh, three Absaris, which is magic defense and defense so um, if you can get to 35k with that that would be preferable um, or, or you can actually fill up your monster slots with all Absaris and then worry about don't worry too much about your magic attack because most of your magic attack is coming from your books as well as the, the your healing power is coming from the procs that you get from your books um, and uh, a lot of people think like oh you know like you're not gonna have enough healing power like honestly you just want to get enough healing for your guy to survive to the next heal uh, you don't necessarily have to heal him to full but most of the time your books if they're uh, you geared correctly are gonna proc and you're gonna get the heal off anyways like if you have all uh, heart of health XLs it's pretty much gonna guarantee you're gonna you're going to uh, proc a heal like it's really really high chance so just think about that uh, when you're when you're actually uh, gearing up your bishop. Um, if you're if you're looking to gear a bishop from the very beginning, like right now, and you're starting to roll, uh, I would say just wait at least till you get one or two of these heart of the health XL rolls uh, before you actually stick with a character because these heart of health XLs are hard to get. Um, and uh, I know I have three right now, but honestly, it's not it's not great if you don't. Uh, have the the defense for it, which is like the the water monsters in my case. Um, if I had you know three F Saris right now, I'd pop that on right now, and then I'd be a really good healer. But in in my situation at this moment, um, I I feel like I can't do a good amount of healing with this low defense uh, for a healer. Like I could I could still get focused down by uh, high level guilds. Like a lot maybe maybe people are thinking like. Oh, dude, you're like tripping. There's a you have like two 25k defense. You have 25k, uh, 26k magic defense. Like, honestly, um, higher guilds will just shred you as a healer with that um, low uh, amount of defense. Uh, they'll they'll actually just like have like three people target you, and you're just gonna die. Um, so it's not ideal to have that. Um, like I said, so. Uh, let's see. I think um, I pretty much covered it. Uh, have enough um, costs inside your weapons to uh, have five UR uh, of these. Um, so it would probably be let's see, five. So one two. So it'd be one twenty-five. So it'd be one twenty-five plus. So it's one thirty around one thirty in your weapons if you had like all twenty-six costs. Um, so you know 125 130 depending on uh, what you guys you get and then like i said with the helmet and the armors you switch it up depending on what um items you get but try to get uh shooting around 30 to 40k uh defense magic defense that would be ideal all right i think i covered most of it guys uh if you guys have any questions about the build or about how uh, cleric should heal oh yeah you know what i think um one actual very important thing about gvg and healing is that you should pre-heal the target like if you see um targets like going towards your characters you just heal uh, automatically onto them with a single target or area heal and um 
it's because healing comes in like a like one second or 0.5 second late um sometimes when your your friends are getting attacked like the attack will go through first always so you def you definitely want to be be able to heal your target as they're getting attacked so like almost like somebody you see the arrows from a lethal strike like circling somebody your heal is already going off on them so that halfway through the lethal strike your your heal comes through so that's something that's really important as a healer uh it's it's really 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 piv like a good healer will see a target coming and then already have a heal on on that target as the damage is done so like the damage will go down and then right back up that's what a good healer um will really do uh and uh to be 100 percent honest healing is like way harder than dpsing because um dpsing a target uh if you mess up you you know your team still loses but if you if you miss a heal or something and uh like say you're one second late on a heal the heal will actually heal you instead of healing the target and you'll not only waste your ap but you'll actually waste the cooldown as well so um that's something that really sucks when you're a healer uh like you're like one second slow you're spamming like the button and then like it just doesn't uh, go through on him he dies and then you waste all your AP um, something that you know is DPS like you if you waste a skill on somebody uh, and it's he's dead already it doesn't take your uh, AP away I mean your cost away sorry um, but it takes your cooldown right but if you heal and then you you're spamming it and it it takes it off that target puts it back onto yourself and you heal yourself that's gonna take your cost so That'll happen sometimes, and it's really shit. Um, it just sucks when it happens. So, um, I think that's about it as far as the bishop goes, guys. I hope that gave you a good idea of what you're kind of looking for in terms of bishop, uh, stat-wise and item-wise, uh, as well as uh, helped you out with the skill, um, skills and stuff like that, um, the abilities. Um, also don't get judgment it's just terrible it's a bad skill um in my opinion maybe somebody else likes it but i i just think it's a terrible skill waste of uh cost a slot and it's a uh, long cooldown and it doesn't do enough damage all right so um i think that's about it for this one guys if you have any questions or comments definitely leave it in the comments box below and uh, I'll get to them as, I, as soon as I possibly can I always like to um, you know comment back and, and respond to you guys' uh, comments so do that also if you guys like the video definitely like the video if it helps you out um, and also check out my channel there's gonna be a lot of more stuff coming up in the channel uh, as well as I would uh, really appreciate if you guys could subscribe uh, that would help out a lot um, I think that's about it as always thank you for watching and take it easy peace